Franklin, Pennsylvania, a gem of a small town set in a landscape worthy of an oil painting. Here, at the confluence of French Creek and the Allegheny River, people still enjoy the simple pleasures. Nice skip! Like skipping stones. Oh, there you go. And once go. a year, they get quite competitive about it. There you go. That's what stone skipping's all about, folks, right there. Oh, my God. Hosting a tournament that draws the there. best skippers from yeah, throughout yeah. the land. Down at the barber shop, folks could barely contain their excitement before this year's tournament. Yeah, it's a big deal. Every year it goes on, doesn't it, John? Yeah, getting, I think getting bigger every year. The favorite to win once again was five-time champion and world record holder Russ Byers, who hails from right here in Franklin. The people in Franklin ask you for your autograph? No. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Pennsylvania trophy, actually. His home is chock full of trophies, medals, record-setting rocks, and documentation of his world record skip. So th we're going to see it right away. This will be it, the very first skip. Guinness carefully examined video evidence before declaring his toss one for the book. Ooh, ooh God, oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I was seeing, a stone that skipped and just kept on skipping and skipping. 51 times. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, does this uh, stone skipping take a lot of your time? No. No? <laughs> you don't practice every day? No. <laughs> well, I oh my. To... The only real effort Russ puts into it is hunting for good stones. What, what do you I... look for? Well, I mean, that's good. Flat, this is kind of heavy and flat. It's got, and as long as it's flat, but a lot of people would go for something like this. A little guy? Yeah, like, like that's pretty good. It's light. Not like that, you know, because of the point on it. Yeah, tell me about that. That gives you kind of a grip right. where you can spin it. That's where, yeah. I always want something to hook my finger onto on the end. You just remember, you just kind of want to keep going, going through it. Okay. Make, you know, think about the spin. The champ gave me some go. tips. You get a lot of spin on it, it'll keep going. Then he showed me how it's done. <laughs> Holy mackerel. It's into I'm, the bushes. I ran out of room. This place can't hold you. That was beautiful. Well, folks, we're about ready to get started. I hope all the amateurs have registered. This uh, tournament always draws a formidable here. field. So yeah. are you feeling ready today? I guess, yeah. But everyone knew the man to beat. I'm going to put a little scare into you. That's my only goal. Russ's right. chief rival is Kurt Mountain Man Steiner, who held the world record of 40 skips that Russ obliterated. Good luck. You too. Kurt really works at it. When you really push it to the limit, it requires a lot of precision and a lot of power and a lot of dedication and practice and training. Quite different from Russ, who just rears back and flings. So we're such polar opposites. And How so? I'm more interested to find the scientific articles, the, the math that's been done, because I like to understand what's going on uh, from the physics point of view. To Kurt, stone skipping is a science. He pours over the remarkable body of scientific research on the subject. You may have read about it in the American Journal of Physics or the Journal of Fluid Mechanics. Maybe I can maximize some of those variables and such. Kurt, the Mountain Man Steiner, former Guinness Book World Record holder. The 2009 tournament began, and using his knowledge of hydrodynamics and translational velocities, Kurt skipped at 27. There you go. Look at that still going, folks. A Canadian bettered Kurt's effort. Oh, man, Drew just came here from the great wide north. Then a kilted Scott bested both. Whoa, 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 oh, man. How do they count all those skips? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, several judges count and then they come up with a number. A 38, a 38, that is unbelievable. I tried my hand at it and using Russ's tips and Russ's rocks came up with a pretty good number myself. 22, 22 first time skipping. Congratulations, Bill. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the one that you've been waiting to see, oh, the current Guinness Book World Record holder, Russ Rockbottom Byers! Oh, man. It's too much. It's too much. The crowd was hushed as Mighty Russ took stone in hand, then skipped it out and out across the Allegheny. want to know what Guinness Book record holders are all about. Look at that! Look at that, folks! 39! A 39! But as the cheering subsided, an unassuming, unheralded young man slipped out of the crowd and stepped to the riverbank, then let fly a mighty heave. Oh, some rock Where did that come from? Where did that come from? The shocking 42 skipper came from one Grant Mitchell. A new leader came out of nowhere. A Philadelphia med school student who sped five and a half hours across the state, arrived five minutes before competition, and had to borrow rocks. A miraculous tale. A young man felling a Goliath with a single stone. A deed for which David received a central place in the Bible. Grant he received a pound of fudge. Thank you again, everybody. We will see you next year. Good night, everybody.